Hello there boys and girls, welcome to the Scottish Geeks, it's Storytime Sunday again. Word of caution, if you're afraid of clowns, don't listen any further. Otherwise, enjoy. Have you ever had one of those feelings that something was wrong? I don't mean during the day either, but at night. I mean, the sudden unprovoked feeling of dread that commands you to wake. Funny. It's almost like, you know, a nocturnal evil gives something off that your sleeping brain picks up on. <laughs> I had one of those recently. It forced me up at 3am. Normally, when you have that feeling, you'd lay still, feigning sleep, or if you're feeling adventurous, you'd take a quick check around the house. After you failed to discover anything, you would inevitably crawl back to sleep. I should have done that this time. I should have stayed asleep. That night... I sat straight up. For the longest time, I sat there, staring into the dark of my house before I even realised I was awake. Then came the fear. That slow, strangling feeling that constricts your chest and worms its way down your throat. I was alone in my home, wide-eyed and afraid with no explanation. I couldn't hear the telltale signs of a break-in downstairs or the phantom sounds of a leaking pipe. I had no reason to be freaked out, but I was. Without much thought, I got up and I walked over to the window. I didn't know why I did, I just did. I peeled back just enough of the curtain to poke my head through and I stared out into my moonlit backyard. I should have stayed asleep. Outside, prancing around my garden, was a clown. It had ruffles around its sleeves and collar baggy pants and floppy shoes. Its painted white face was even topped off with a big red rubber nose. It was, without a doubt, the last thing I wanted to see at three in the morning. It danced in complete silence, doing a step that only a madman or a child could understand. Its playful manner was haunting. I watched with dread fascination as it circled the garden, trying my best to ignore the growing lump in my throat. It moved around, pausing occasionally to play with my gardening tools or sniff the budding plants. It waltzed over to an oak sapling I had planted, and then it disappeared. I blinked. It's not possible. It walked behind the thin, infant plant, but it didn't come out the other side. I should have seen it the entire time, but I didn't. It was, it was like the clown had walked through a door hidden by the sapling. Oh God, I should, have, I should have stayed asleep. I hoped that everything was some sort of a waking dream. Pretending nothing happened was easier than the truth. The clown came back though. Night after night I watched as it danced around my backyard and at the end of every night it would vanish the same way. One night it disappeared behind a garden hole for only for it to appear seconds later from behind the lawn or... And tonight I found it digging a hole in the middle of my yard. I've never seen it do something like that before and my immediate thought is that clown is digging my grave. The hole got deeper and deeper as the clown dug until the top of the hole reached its head. Once it finished, it stood at the edge of the hole motionless. When out of nowhere, it jerked its head around. My heart pounded so hard I could taste the copper in my mouth. I'm about to tear away from the curtain when I see it bend down and pluck a flower. The clown put the stem between its teeth and planted the shovel firm in the ground before stretching out pretend suspenders and admired its work like a farmer. My heart was still racing at this point but I was just glad that it didn't see me. As if the thing had read my mind, it turned its on its heel and it stared right at me. I never, I never thought I'd actually pray for a heart attack. It spat out the flower and it ran towards me, its feet flopping to the sides. It stopped a few feet from the house, grinning at me with filthy orange teeth as it pointed to the hole and waved me over excitedly, like a child showing off a finger painting. Frozen in place, the only thing I could do is furiously shake my head. No! The clown's smile fell and it scratched his head, as if confused. And then it walked over to the hole, pointed at it again. I would have told it to fuck off if I could have. It stood there for a moment before animatedly acting out its aha moment. 
and then waltzed over to the planted shovel and disappeared behind it. I stared wide-eyed, hoping it would reappear in the yard like before. I silently prayed for this until the moment I heard my closet creak open. I should have stayed asleep. Okay, that one made even me shiver a little bit. <laughs> I'm not the world's biggest fan of clowns. Barring Pennywise. I like Pennywise, the dancing clown. Played by Mr. Tim Curry. Anyway, boys and girls, please put in the comments below what you would like next week's story to be. This is something I'm going to be doing every week from now on. If you have a suggestion for a story, please comment it on the story of that day, okay? Uh, next week's story comes out, I will not be taking any more comments from this one and so on and so forth. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, favourite, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. But until then... Bye-bye.